Hi, I'm Nana Gawal, and I'm from fifth grade. Today, I have some questions about science, and I'm going to be asking Mr. James, powered by Google Gemini, to help me today. Hello, Mr. James. How are you today? Hello. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. And how are you today? Are you ready to dive into some exciting science? I'm great, and I sure am ready to dive into science. Wonderful. Is there anything specific you'd like to explore or any questions you have in mind? So, everyone knows about how the Earth orbits around the Sun. Why does and... the Earth not fall off of its orbit? Like, why, what keeps it staying in orbit around the Sun? That's an excellent question. It's all about gravity and inertia working together. To explain it further, I'm going to ask you another question. Do you have an idea about gravity and inertia? I know what gravity is, but I have no clue what inertia is. Okay, no problem at all. Let's start with inertia. Basically, inertia is an object's tendency to resist changes in its state of motion. So now that I explained it, does it make sense to you? Yes, it does. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's dive back into your original question about why the Earth doesn't fall out of its orbit around the sun. Would you like me to explain how gravity and inertia work together to keep the Earth in orbit? Yes, please. So the sun's gravity is constantly pulling the Earth towards it. At the same time, the Earth is moving forward in space due to inertia. These two forces combine, resulting in the Earth constantly falling towards the sun, but also constantly moving forward, which creates a circular path or orbit. Does this explanation clarify why the Earth doesn't fall off of its orbit? Yes, it does. And thank you for teaching me this today. I really learned something new. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. What you just saw was a fifth grader speaking with AI. Now, using AI for education has a lot of advantages. To start with, it allows the student to enter an experiential and simulation-based learning environment where the student can ask questions and get answers and be imaginative and clarify all the doubts through a conversation. And it's not a one-to-many in a classroom style setting. And the second point is this conversation can be very personalized. Every student is different, their level of understanding is different, their questions are different, and their vocabulary is different. AI can personalize the responses based on each student's level of understanding of the concepts and the language. And then the third most important aspect is it allows you to provide a scalable teaching support to students. Now, there is not one teacher who's available on call in case a student needs more clarity on a certain subject. And now you can have an army of AI teachers that are helping students answer any questions around the clock. So obviously, the benefits of using AI in teaching and education are paramount. Now, one question that you might ask is that my kid already uses Gemini or ChatGPT on their app to ask all these questions. Well, there is an advantage if the schools build an enterprise system and provide those to the student and support AI-based learning. To start with, when you build an enterprise system and you build it purposefully for students, we're going to take extreme care about safety, privacy, and making sure that the responses are age appropriate. The second is we can make sure that the responses are curriculum aligned and are grounded in course material. What that means is when AI responds to a question by a fifth grader, it can refer to the coursework from the class back to the student so for further learning. So the student knows that this is what the response is. By the way, it's coming from the classwork that the teacher gave me in class and, and I can go back and do more reading from the book that is prescribed to me. And the third aspect is you can use AI and this conversation with AI as a means of getting insights about the student, even evaluating and assessing different students, where they are in their learning journey, what concepts are they able to grasp or not able to grasp? Are they able to proceed in their curriculum by asking the right questions and getting the right answers? So essentially you get to learn a lot about how the students uh, are learning by the kind of conversation that they are having with AI, because now you can document all those conversations and run a whole bunch of analytics and AI on top of the conversations themselves. So anyways, these are some of the advantages that we have with building AI systems for students. We are working with Google Cloud and Gemini to bring many such use cases to life for educators, for enterprises, corporates, even public sector. 
If this was interesting, let me know in the comments and please get in touch. Would love to work with you. Thank you.